Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the chafing dish of 1912, we're going to be making the roast beef sandwich with anchovy paste. Yeah. First thing we got to do, grind up some roast beef. All right, to a half cup of ground roast beef, we add three drops of Tabasco sauce. Half a teaspoon of uh, chopped onion, half a teaspoon of lemon juice, and of course, half a teaspoon of anchovy paste. Mmm, mix it all together. Now it says to put this on a buttered, thinly sliced bread. I took a piece of bread and cut it in half using my slice-o-matic. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just put our beef mixture onto that. Okay, let's give this roast beef sandwich with anchovy paste a go. Mm-hmm. Um, I was hopeful that because of the amount of the roast beef that the anchovy paste would be distributed and just be a little hint of salt. It is not. It is a lot of anchovy paste. <laughs> I am gonna try and save this. I am gonna plus it up. I'm gonna do two things. First, I'm gonna add a tomato. I think that'll help absorb some of the salt. And just a touch of mayonnaise. I think that's gonna help too. Plenty of salt already, but a little pepper would be nice. Okay, let's give this roast beef sandwich with anchovy paste plussed up with a uh, tomato seasoned with black pepper and a little mayonnaise a go. That is much better. So the sweetness of the tomato and the fat of the mayonnaise is completely overpowering the uh, fishiness. And now you've just got kind of like a roast beef sandwich that has a little bit of salt, tomato, and mayo. All right, so the original roast beef sandwich with anchovy paste, it was a salt lick. I'm gonna give that a two. Plus up with a thick slice of tomato, a little black pepper, and some mayonnaise. That's actually probably like a five and a half, six. It's actually pretty tasty. I'm definitely gonna finish it with those plus ups. Uh, I don't think I'll ever make this again though. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.